Hey guys, Cat Truck here. So today we're going to look at maximizing the profit of your arcade that you gain through your passive income. So first of all, this is not going to be a huge amount of income. This is going to be something that you kind of add to your daily grind. It's $50,000 here, $50,000 there. But you know, over time that will add up. So first of all, let's look at location. Um, location is not key if you're just going for the passive income because you're not going to be collecting the money out of your safe too often. So the main option that you see with people with the arcade is they're going to get the free one with Twitch Prime. It's all the way out here in Tw uh, Polito Bay. So that's Pixel Pete's. So you have Twitch Prime, you link your account, that's free. So you know that's really the way to go. If you're struggling for cash and you're looking for that additional income, stick with that one. I started with that arcade, and I did the casino heist twice out of it, but it's a hell of a lot of driving. I mean, you're driving six miles each way here and there in order to you know, cash in each of the um, heist setups, and you're doing 10 to 12 of those heist setups per heist. So that took a lot of time, extremely consuming. So what I ended up doing is I bought the insert coin down here in Rockford Hills. This is $2.3 million in change, um, but I chose this one because it's kind of a central location between my apartment, my nightclub, my CEO office, my Coke locker, you know, I've got all my stuff right here in this area and it makes my kind of daily routine, my daily grind extremely efficient. So like I said, $2.3 million. I'm never going to accumulate that money back um, through this passive income from the arcade, but it was, you know, a way for me to make my casino heist setups much more efficient and, you know, extremely cut down on the time that I needed to do to, to or needed to complete the setups. So anyway, that's location. Like I said, if you're just going for um, passive income, maybe uh, stick to the free one up there. So you walk into my arcade, and you're going to see that it's not extremely exciting. You know, I, quickly looking, you can see that I only have two different kinds of arcade games, but that's what I'm doing to maximize my profit that I gain from this. So what you need to do, if you don't have uh, your other arcade machine or you don't have anything set up, you want to come into your office and then take a seat over at your computer. We're going to load this up and access the laptop. And then once you access this, you're going to see all of the different machines that you have available to purchase. So right before we look at that, you can see my total earnings is $485,000. Um, if I stuck with the free arcade and then just purchased the one machine like I'm going to show you, I would have had a profit of around $370,000. So, you know, that's that's pretty good. I mean, it's not an extreme amount of money, but that adds up. Um, but we'll scroll through the games, and you can see that some of these are extremely expensive. I know, obviously, I haven't purchased them, and I don't plan on it. If you're going for a really cool arcade and you want a variety of machines, you know, more power to you. Go ahead, spend some money and buy these. I think the total, if you buy all the machines, is $3.2 million, and you're not going to generate that money back. So that's kind of just personal preference. Um, but right here, you can see that I purchased my the second machine. The only machine I purchased is the Penetrator. And this is a, kind of a spinoff on the 1980s um, arcade game Tempest, um, which is pretty cool. So that's the one that I chose. Uh, Monkey's Paradise is 90000 That's actually cheaper. Uh, Penetrator was $105,500. Um, so just 10000 more. And, and, you know, I thought the case was a little bit cooler. So I purchased the Penetrator. You can see that you, I also own Street Crimes, the Gang Wars Edition. That comes with setting up the arcade. So you're going to be given that um, arcade game for setting up the arcade, doing the original setup. So once you bought, purchased your second machine, it's going to take a little bit of time to deliver. But once it delivers, you want to come in here and manage your arcade games. You'll use L1 and R1 to slide through the available slots and then go ahead and fill those slots up. So you see Street Crimes comes in sets of four, so you'll put that down, but then in any other slot that you have, you'll go ahead and slot the Penetrator, or I guess if you purchase Monkey's Paradise because it's cheaper, you can put that in. But you go through and you want to fill every single slot up with available arcade machines. So like I said, not a huge variety, but you will fill every slot up. Once you have that up, your arcade is going to go ahead and start generating passive income. It's not huge. It's going to be $5,000 per in-game day, 48 minutes. Um, if you're not playing a ton, you know, you're thinking, hey, I'm not going to generate enough money for this to be worth it. Um, but I don't play much. I might play an hour a day, if that. 
but I have a grinding technique where I'm going to stay logged in by viewing my security camera in my bunker so that my nightclub and then my gun running bunker can passively generate their supplies, turn those into goods for me to sell while I'm away at work. So, you know, if you go to school for the day, you can leave your PS4 running. I'll go into, I'll make another video on that, give a little bit more details um, another day. Um, but while you're sitting there and letting those supplies generate, your arcade is also generating income. So your money is going to come here into the safe. I've already picked up my money for the day, so you're not going to actually see the cash. But you'll open this safe, and it'll have a maximum of $50,000. So once it hits $50,000, it is going to max out, and you want to be con conscious of that and come and pick it up every day. Um, I usually pick it up about once a day, like I said, with my grinding routine, once in the morning, once at night. Um, so guys, there it is, you know, not a huge income generator, but you will have a way to kind of generate an extra $50,000, um, once or twice a day. So there's the arcade. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit like, and we'll have more coming out here soon. Thanks a bunch.